hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today i'm back with another video on how to bypass kg locked phone the steps are very easy first of all we need to factor reset the phone using the pc because most don't have the wipe data factor reset option the wipe data factor reset option is not available so we need to format using this tool we are just going to click on factor reset with just one click first thing first we need to factor reset the phone and click on factor reset the second on the upper part the second option on the upper part just click factory reset and make sure your phone is on before doing so make sure the screen is on as it says make sure your phone screen is on for it to work just turn on the screen nothing more and we have the option of reset the phone reset phone or you can read instructions so that you may not make any mistake but this activate device admin app which has been sent to the phone via the tool once you activate your phone will be factory reset to factory settings the phone will be factory reset to factory settings then you just need to wait a few seconds for your phone to boot as normally a lot of phones take long to boot after resetting phone may take a few minutes or it may take long before boot so what you need to do is force restart the phone and when i say force restart the phone press the volume down button and the power button at the same time for about seven seconds then release and your phone will restart and when it restarts it will power on normally like a normal phone it won't take long to boot up it will not take long to boot up it will take just a few seconds or a few minutes then you just have to be patient and wait for a few seconds for your phone to boot just wait a few seconds it may take a few seconds it just depends on your patient if you're patient it will take a little time now we are starting android the phone is already on factory settings the phone has been reset then we need to enable the adb using the same same tool so we are going to click on remove frp we are not removing the frp go to emergency dial and dial star hash zero star hash go to emergency dial star hash zero star hash and then the test mode menu will appear and once the test mode menu will appear you'll just have to wait for the tool to do the work and go to we have already dialed so method one fail method two fail method three method three fail method four okay and it says enable adb already done enable adb already done and you can see on our phone it's all ready enabled but don't click on allow now don't click allow just go and close the tool close the tool and then after you have closed the tool go and type the following command go and type the following command and you have to make sure all commands are in small letters adb shell adb space shell space disable hyphen user then space then hyphen hyphen then user zero com dot android dot system ui com dot android dot system ui then all you need to do is allow adb allow adb this is the time to allow adb after allowing adb this is the time to hit enter on your keyboard now hit enter on your keyboard and you can see adb server running and it has to state new state disabled user new state disabled user 
if it has not stated new state disabled user then you need to rewrite the command then type the following command we need to type two commands for the recent updates we have to type these two commands because of the recent update first thing first go to this frp the frp is tool by nk team the nk team just open it normally like any other x exe and you have to log in as you can see the login password is just there so you don't have to worry if you need the tool in the description i'll i'll post the link on the description but if you if you have the tool already we're well and good first thing first we're going to kill update first thing first make sure you have killed the update so that the phone won't update or lock when you are setting the phone this is the very very crucial step that you need to take make sure you have killed the update then type the following command again adb shell pm space then disable disable the normal disable d-i-s-a-b-l-e then hyphen then user then hyphen space then space hyphen hyphen then user zero com dot samsung com dot samsung com dot samsung dot android dot android dot kg client com dot android dot com dot samsung dot android dot kg client then hit enter and once you hit enter it will say it will state new state disabled user new state disabled user and you can see the phone is it will say your phone has been locked because device services was uninstalled without authorization don't worry don't panic this is a very very easy step a very crucial step then all you need to do is very simple go back to the frp tool go back to the frp tool and then click on reboot reboot system you need to reboot system and once you have reboot system your phone will restart your phone will restart your phone will restart and once the phone has restarted your phone you just have to be patient just be patient almost there just be patient just be patient just be patient and you can see starting android and welcome starting android and welcome then on the same same tool on the same same tool go and click remove frp because we don't want to set our phone while the while while it's online or it's connected to internet it may lock or it might not work so just sit back relax and the tool will set the phone for you and please subscribe to my channel for more videos i'll always update you with all videos with other everything that i know i'll try to share then go and click on accept agree to terms then just click next and your phone will automatically power on like the phone will be unlocked and it's that very easy to bypass kg locked phone 2023 of the recent updates for any inquiries or anything that you haven't understood place you can hit me up on instagram as arnold bradley one